Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is not Candy, as you all know by now. I'm visiting the couch, and my name actually is Mrs. Ghetto Santa Claus. And tonight, I have on my silly gesture hat, my silly Santa gesture hat. I normally butcher those holiday hits and destroy them by making up my own parody songs. And they're actually pretty funny. But I haven't had time this year because I've been so busy, but not too busy, that I couldn't come and be with you guys and share bedtime story holiday edition. I'm excited. Well, we got to get down to the formalities. Let me get you guys into the checklist. I'm going to shake these jingle bells on this stocking that I found. Because it's time for the checklist. Shake, shake, shake. It's time for the checklist. Shake, 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 shake. I said it's time for the checklist. Hear those jingle bells. It's time for the checklist. Just like this. Jingle, jingle, jingle bells, hear those jingle bells, shake, shake. Jingle, jingle, jingle bells, hear those jingle bells, shake, shake. All right, that was good enough, boys and girls. I was going to pull out an instrument, but I thought some jingling bells is instrument enough. Well, I have Tux here with me, one of Candy's newest furry pets that hangs out here on Candy's cozy couch, but right now is on de door decoration duty. I just pulled him off her door so that he could be here because he wanted to be a part of the story. But first, I hope you had a, a joyous day. I did check, and I hope you ate a wonderful dinner. Check, and I hope you had good conversation, good holiday conversation with your family members check and i hope you did something exciting and brand new today check and all oh, boys and girls i hope you did your chores and helped out and cleaned up around the house check and i absolutely hope that you did your homework even though i suspect you're on holiday break check now make sure that you pick out your PJs and that you pick out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow. Yes, because tomorrow is a special pre-day. How about that? A day before a special big day. Check. I think you know what it is. Now, did you wash up, take your bath or your shower? Are you clean and fresh? Check. Did you dry off well and put on your lotion so that you're smooth and soft and refreshed throughout your skin? Check. Did you wash your hair, comb your hair, brush your hair? Do whatever you need to do for your hair. If you're wearing a nightcap, not quite like this one though, you all covering it up anyway. There's that. Check. Oh, somehow I think last time I was on the couch, I forgot to ask about the hair. Well, I'm new to this. I might miss something every now and again. Anyway, did you clean out your ears or your nostrils? You got to get your passage, your breathing passages all clear. Check. Did you hmm, brush your teeth and then floss? And then rinse out really good. Rinse your mouth really good. Check. Did you take your nighttime meds or vitamins? Make sure you consult your parents to help you out with that. Check. All right, what else do we need to do? We definitely need to take one last opportunity to go to the bathroom. So make sure you do that, boys and girls. Check. And then after you're done with all of your bathroom duties, because mostly I try to segment everything in the, in the area where you should probably do it while you're preparing for bed. So on your way out of the bed, bathroom, turn on your nightlight so 
but you can have some illumination. Check. And when you get to your bedroom, oh, for goodness sake, boys and girls, make sure you clean your room. Make sure everything is in order and where it's supposed to be. That your floor is clear from obstructions and, and any obstacles that should not be there. Check. I got an itchy eye. My sinuses must be acting up. Last time I was on the couch, I sneezed. Anyway. Boys and girls, what else do we need to do? You need to have a bedtime story. Pick out your book. Let mom or dad read to you. Or if you're a super reader, you'll be the reader. But don't worry, because I got a special one for you tonight. Check. Let me see. Did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members and the pets that live at home with you? And any guests visiting, please show them some holiday love as well. Check. Now, let me see what else. Because I think we're almost done. But seeming that I forgot one thing last time that I realized this time that I had forgotten last time. You know what was funny? Last time I forgot to introduce myself. This time I think I remembered. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Anyway, oh well, the final thing is to get settled in bed, comfy and cozy and snug as a bug in the rug and tuck yourself in and settle down for story. But before you really get comfortable, the last thing you need to do, and it's so important, say your prayers, boys and girls. Please don't forget to thank God, thank the Creator for all that you have. All right, so now let's get into tonight's story. This story is entitled Waiting for Christmas. It's by Monica Grittenfield and illustrated by Jan Spivey Hillcrest. I really like the way that picture looks. It looks very nice. You can see the back has this nice colorful design on it. Alright, let's get into this. Oh, look at that. Boys and girls, I hope you love your decorations that you have now. Waiting for Christmas. Oh, it's coming, boys and girls. It's a day. It's only a day away. Those are the dedications. I'm just going to show you the picture. Reminds you of home, doesn't it? Family coming by? Yes, that's going to be happening. All right, we slide outside down a snowy hill. See that? We don't have any snow yet, and boys and girls, I think we're getting one of those little silly warm-ups starting tomorrow. Oh, no. We warm our bodies by the fireplace. Look at that. Oh, we don't have to do that yet tonight. Well, it's cold today. I guess we should do it today. It's pretty cold. It is officially winter. We drink hot cider and cinnamon sticks. I'm drinking hot cider, but never with the cinnamon sticks. I'll have to try that. How are you doing, Tux? We decorate and wait for Christmas. Yes, we did that. I really like Miss Candy's door decorations. I think on Christmas, I should read the story right from at her door. I think I will. We look for our presents one more time. Then I'm becoming from Candy's decorated door. That's what I'll be coming from. That's a thing. I'm, I, boys and girls, I really think I'm going to do that. We give good night kisses and head for bed. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you need to get your rest, boys and girls. Don't be staying up all night doing frivolous stuff that's not going to do no good for you. All right. Go to bed 
let your body rest. We really don't want to, but it's getting late. You see the bedroom, the bed, bed, excuse me, the bedtime routine is in effect, even in this story. We're in there. Getting PJs on all nine yards. Let's see, we just can't wait for Christmas. She's so adorable. Look at her face. Oh my goodness. I like her. She looks really nice. We smile as the sunlight hits our lids. That means they slept good, and now daylight is coming in, and they're starting to wake up. Guess what day it was them waking up to? We know the moment has finally come. And what moment, pray tell, are they referring to, boys and girls? Do you know what moment? Huh? downstairs to meet the day. Be careful on the stairs, boys and girls. I wouldn't fly down if I were you. I saw a funny video where a boy literally did that because something scared him so bad. He missed all the stairs on the flight to get away from whatever it was that scared him. At last, it's time to say. Boys and girls, what do you think it's time for them to say? about to find out. It's time to say what? Let's see. Merry Christmas. I knew it. I knew that's what they were saying. Yes, because they are opening their gifts, singing with their family. Oh, so I guess this book is actually a poem. Let me read it through really quick without any interruption. Waiting for Christmas by Monica Greenfield. We slide outside down a snowy hill. We warm our bodies by the fireplace. We drink hot chocolate with cinnamon sticks. We decorate and wait for Christmas. We look for a present one more time. We give goodnight kisses and head for bed. We really don't want to, but it's getting late. We just can't wait for Christmas. We smile as the sunlight hits our lids. We know the moment has finally come. We fly downstairs to meet the day. At last, it's time to say Merry Christmas. Oh, that's adorable. So I just read it page by page. And as I was reading a poem, I feel like I skipped a page. Let me make sure I didn't skip the page. I don't like to do that when I'm reading. You ever do that? You decorate and wait for Christmas. Can I show y'all that page? I don't remember. But I hope I did. Oh, I got to go to sleep. Look at this. We look for our presents one more time. I don't even know if I showed you this. And look at that. Ooh, it's looking good. Just in case I didn't in the first part, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I did that. All right, boys and girls. Well, that's it for tonight. Get on in the bed because it's time for the best part. Got to get ready for dreamland. You got to get ready for a new day, Christmas Eve. Yes. So, comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in the rug with your cuddle buddy. Get in bed, close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Let your body drift on off to sleep so you can dream your special dream. All right, boys and girls, now go right ahead and do that. And I will see you again on Candy's Cozy Couch. Bye-bye.